Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z817. The Z817 is designed specifically for use with the Yaesu FT817 QRP radio, but will also work with other QRP radios having transmit power up to 20 watts. This video series will help you get the most out of your Z817 and is a supplement to the information contained in the Z817 owner's manual. In part 2 of this video series, we'll look at how to install and use the Z817 if you are using it with a QRP radio that is not an FT817. The Z817 does not come with any batteries, so first you'll need to install four double A's. See part 1 of this video series for more help with that. To begin installation, first turn off your QRP transceiver. Next, connect one end of a coaxial cable jumper to the antenna jack on the radio. Connect the other end of the coaxial cable to the TX jack on the Z817. Connect your antenna's coaxial feed line cable to the antenna jack on the back of the Z817. LDG also recommends that you connect the Z817 to your station ground. You're now ready to begin using the Z817 with your radio. To tune with the Z817, first select the frequency, and then set your radio to use a mode with a continuous carrier, such as CW or RIDI. Next, Press and hold the Tune button on the Z817 until the tuning LED lights up, then let go. Transmit a carrier with your radio and continue transmitting until the tuning cycle completes. Now set your radio to the desired operating mode, and that's it, you're ready to transmit. Remember that the Z817 is rated to a maximum of 20 watts. Please read your complete owner's manual for more information on the Z817 tuner.